to do a show like The Voice in prime time that celebrates the idea of shining a light on people that aspire for, for you know, a music career is just like right up my alley. So I just yeah. feel really lucky to be a part of this type of show. What was maybe the most emotional The Voice moment that you've had so far? You know, just seeing that clip of Jamal, I have a lot of them, honestly. Right. People will probably probably just assume I just go to work and, and treat it like a day at work. I really get very connected to the to the young people, to all of the artists that come on the show trying to make it. I just have a connection with them and their families. I get to know them in a quick amount of time, but it, it means a lot to me. But just seeing Jamar Rogers, who was a kid, I flew to New York to give him an envelope. Jamar is addicted to drugs. He's HIV positive. I surprised him with an envelope, and he was in the middle of feeding um, senior citizens. And he didn't know I was coming with a camera. And I caught this young man doing such great work. And he's reformed his life. And he's one of the best singers I've ever heard. And like, just to be able to have that be a part of my story of what I do for a living yeah. is just it is amazing. Yeah. Now, you guys mix it up every season. So what's next? What are you going to do to sort of throw something new into the mix? You know, we're going to make a few slight changes to mm -hmm. kind of the, um, to the format of the show. Nothing crazy. Uh, we're already working on it right now. We're mm -hmm. shooting season three, which will be this fall. Um, all for the better, yeah. uh, all to get the best music on TV. And we have a great, great group of aspiring artists this year. I mean, I thought the talent was great season two. It's even better. Amazing. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carson. Thank you. <laughs>